Okay, so here we are now. We're at the point of trying to do a employer query plan purchase. So you come in here, you notice you have a query plan buy. Now again, if you're an owner operator, um, you're just going to end up <clears throat> picking one or two of these. You're going to get charged when we go out and do the query after January 8th. As far as uh, employers, you're going to have to do $1.25 times the number of drivers you have for your annual and then maybe some additional purchases for employment uh, employers or just wait on that for uh, employees if you would like. So you come into here and they have different query plans. Obviously, I think there's discounts as you get higher and higher, but you know, it really doesn't look like there's too much discount. They just give you $1. twenty-five towards more plans that you would buy. And then you pick your package size. Uh, you can see down here they have different payment options that you can access, electronic funds, credit card, debit card, all of things like that. And looks like you're going to be getting a drug and alcohol clearinghouse statement. So once you pick your plan size, say you're going to get two, you're going to continue to pay .gov. <clears throat> and at that point, you'll process your payment. So that's it on that pretty simple procedure. Uh, again, we're getting ready to send out annual enrollments here in the next week or two and uh, look through that. And regardless if you're going to use us or not, please fill out the package in its entirety as we do need to switch people over to a different format on uh, tracking, no longer using social security numbers, but using driver's license. We'll also need the date of birth and we will need uh, the state, if other than California, for the issuing driver's license and the country, if not the U.S.